Kenyon. Watched um, KD, Kevin Durant, K- KD lead them, lead, lead, lead America, America to win France. You know, uh, it made me speechless a little bit because I, I haven't been paying attention to the basketball for a few years, and it's interesting that I would get this reintroduction while my man is jumping into this sport because I actually think sports do a lot um, for the health of a nation, um, for the health of people. Um, I think competition, understanding healthy competition. Um, is is super crucial. Thank you so much. I got to give you a, a credit somewhere in there. But um, <laughs> um, so what are you thinking about? I know you're you're a naturally competitive person. You compete kind of against yourself in Absol- life. Absolutely. To always be absolutely. bigger and absolutely. better. Absolutely. absolutely. So absolutely. people don't even know some of the stuff you absolutely. have going on. Absolutely. What would you say the mood right now is in America? I just wanna I'm gonna riff. I, th- I think everyone yeah. in America is happy. KD did a good game mm-hmm. today. What would you because- say the mood right now though is on a competitive level, on a health level? What, what would you say is going on? Hmm. Of course, we can't forget we have COVID. It's hit us so right. hard. Now the D variants coming up again and yeah. everything, but still yet. We know that America will always survive. We're always going to come out strong. Mm-hmm. Sports like soccer, sports like basketball mm-hmm. are always going to come on top. And we need to support our athletes. We need to support mm-hmm. people that are pushing through. Because America is ready. What pushes you? What pushes me? We, especially me, yeah. it's just the idea that we know that America is going to be great. Mm-hmm. We know that we, individuals, mm-hmm. we're working towards solutions working towards the progress working mm-hmm. towards achieving greatness for each of every one of us mm-hmm. how do we get a health care how do we get a hap, uh, uh, a good health a good good pay for everyone mm-hmm. those are important things yeah. because you're not going to be able to get there if you don't have food to put on the tables for the kids yeah we're not talking of only our kids we're talking of every kid and this is what Chris is doing exactly Chris is bringing it it's bringing the money route yeah he's bringing it down to kids you got a talent, yeah. Chris is going to promote the talent. Mm-hmm. He's going to promote it. He's got Manny FC. Manny FC is going to bring it into the grassroots. Yeah, grassroots yeah. Houston. Like, that's grassroots exactly what America. I was going to say. That, that's, and we're going to push yeah. you from there. Woo! All right, so how do you feel like you're going to embody this this part of what's going on? Let me get you. Let me get you. I got you. <laughs> how do you feel like you're going to embody this this next piece that's going on with, with everything Emmanuel just said? How do you feel like you're going to embody that with the team? Because I know that's exactly what you're doing. You're building... Um, you know, economics yeah. on a grassroots level. Yeah. Literally, you're introducing people on a grassroots level of, you know, introducing their effort. You know, young kids, we've seen some of the kids that are responding to what you're doing, 19, 20 year old, you know, young kids, you're building economics for them so they can start to understand this isn't a powerless system. There's room for all kinds of dreams. So, are, are you hyped for that? What, what do you think? Yeah, I'm always hyped though, because I'm not sure I'm a positive person, I'm a go getter, yeah. you know, when I think about stuff in my mind. I just like thinking about it. I want to bring it to life and reality, you know? Mm-hmm. And knowing the grassroots, why I really like grassroots, why I chose grassroots? Mm-hmm. Because I know there's a lot of talent in grassroots, mm-hmm. but because of a lot of people are not as privileged as the other people, Yeah. because no matter how good you are in any sport you do, if you're not being seen, mm-hmm. no one's gonna know you, Yeah. right? So you need like a good mentor, you know, like a good uh, system, a good network system to push you out there for you to be seen, yeah, yeah. for you to get to the next level. So that's exactly what I'm creating right now is to, create that network to create that opportunity for them to be seen because I know there are so many talented people out there yeah sometimes they get so talented they get frustrated because they don't have the right mentor mm. so I want to mm. be that mentor I want to yeah. help people save their dreams because yeah. I play soccer too yeah, yeah you know yeah. I played for my girl 21 and 2011 and I know I know how 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 much it was difficult for me because I didn't get it got I didn't get um, proper mentorship yeah. I didn't get the right people so I struggled entirely mm-hmm. all through yeah, you know, yeah. it's a miracle I haven't got to a level I got to. So I don't want people to go through mm-hmm. the same thing I went through. So that's why I'm, there's, that is more like a master plan because I'm actually doing this from experience because mm-hmm. I know how it can happen and how it can be done. done. We're, we're a mile okay. away from Simone Bell's house. Mm. You know, she has proved herself. You know, mm. she went to the Olympics. She knew her limitations. She did her best. And she still came back with a grunt. Exact same thing. Chris here has been with, he's played soccer with the African team, with Nigerian national team, and he's gonna be able to get 
kids from the grassroots, push them to the limits, push them to the heights, yeah. and get them to where they need to go to. Yeah. Manny FC is a team that's going to go to the sky. I'm, I'm hyped, but I'm glad you mentioned Simone Biles because I think it all ties in. Because even though I think it's... Gra- does like some, some streets away and, from and I think it starts grassroots, and then you see how it progresses, even the instability to a level like hers, you know? What is the real struggles, you know, even that she's dealing with at that? I think it's instability. I think it's about the fact that there's a type of glass ceiling, even at that level, where people aren't understanding the power that they have. I even see it in in professional athletes, how they feel disenfranchised in a bunch of situations. So how much more the people on the grassroots level, but I see it playing all the way out. You're seeing this ricochet where we need to understand the power of the economics all the way through. Anyway, it's done. It, we're done. Community development uh, initiatives. <laughs> FC Manny, Kenyo, Project Ford, Project Ford Sports. Gavin Potts, I do Touch, 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 touch the sky. Touch, 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 touch the sky. Touch, 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 touch the sky.